It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 41 yard line. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. On the move to his left. Throw inside. McCaffrey's got it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 35. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. And his throw is incomplete. He used to have a coach who tells us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Second and ten. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Back to throw, Purdy. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down, ball on the 10. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. 
Kevontae Turpin now to return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Hey, kill, 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 kill. Hey, 47. Hey, kill, 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 kill. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Play fake. Here's Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, 66 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. My partner's a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Now the offense, they had really not been able to mount anything yet on that drive, and the defense made sure they couldn't mount anything. The interception and the return adding six to the scoreboard. And that's no small return for a linebacker partner. He took matters into his own hands and his legs on that pick. And once he had it, I don't think anyone on the field could have stopped it. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 14-7. to so they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. 
And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Powers through. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. They'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Here is third down and four. Throwing here, Purdy. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Kyle Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. Now Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance, down he goes. The 49ers get there. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Now Prescott on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The last time out, Charles, they opted to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Didn't get it. But the defense held strong, and they hold on to this slim lead. And how about as the defense ran off the field? How about the greeting they got from their teammates on the sideline? They kept that narrow lead by their nice play. 
Now, let's pay it off for him, right? Punch it in on this drive, take that lead back up to two possessions. That would be a nice little thank you gift to them. They go back to Pollard on second down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Prescott now. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off for the first down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. On play action, Prescott. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They'll throw again. Prescott can't get away, and he's taken down. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb, and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And this is caught, Jennings. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. There's Purdy on first and 10. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? He's going to go out of bounds, but he 
takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Purdy will look to throw again here. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk from 21 yards away. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. And that is one, no doubt, that may come back to haunt them because the PAT tied it. They didn't need to go for two. I keep searching for an explanation. I know it's quick right here. I think I can search for the next year <laughs> yeah, and not come up with anything that absolutely works. Kick the point, man. Kick the point. I don't get it. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try to add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Flush to his right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This time they stay on the ground. Dances by at the 20. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. This is brought in at the 21. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. set to get this drive underway and with seven seconds remaining not much time to really do anything Purdy to throw it on first down and for a third time tonight he's intercepted and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there, you throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon.
The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. And now they're in the hurry up. Play action now, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! 47! Here we go, 47! On third down, it's Prescott. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They run straight ahead here with Connor. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing. Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Looking to throw, Prescott. Flushed out right. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Here's Prescott. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. Looking for a seam, but finding nine. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's him. Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete 
to McCaffrey. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because they're... But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 41 yards. And the 49ers have retaken a third-quarter lead. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Purdy and the Niner offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this quarter. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us, or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves? Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. down this is McCaffrey and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped that was an O line on a mission all in sync and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards So from the 25, this is second and five. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Purdy from the gun. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. 
And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. Prescott yet again. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forcing throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. And the Niners are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, the I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. 
They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. McCaffrey following the penalty, and he is going to lose yardage here. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. Here's first and ten. Pollard will take it up the gut. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Here's first down. Now Dak. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Fights off the defender. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good game. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. Here's third down and five. Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Here's Dak. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining that the 49ers are going to get the football back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. He'll make the diving catch. 18 yards, first down, Niners. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you said baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great...